Amnesty International said on Thursday it had counted 23 dead in the unrest that shook Senegal last week, more than the official toll of the authorities, and demanded an independent investigation. Senegal was plagued from June 1st to 3rd with its worst troubles for years after the condemnation of opponent Osimane Sonko to two years in prison in a sex scandal. The announcement of the sentence sparked violence which officially claimed 16 lives. The court's decision makes in the current state ineligible for the presidential so election of February 2024, a personality popular in youth and underprivileged psychos. Through 18 interviews, authenticated videos and death certificates and autopsy reports attending to gunshot wounds, Amnesty gives an increasing human toll and denounces excessive use of force as well as attacks on the freedom of expression and information. Almost 23 dead according to our figures, including several by bullets, were recorded between Dakar and Zunguicha, Amnesty said, in a press release, three were minors, the NGO said. Basilo Sal, 31, in Dakar, followed Sal, 25, and Osimane Badio, 17, all three died as a result of gunshots revealed testimonies from their relatives corrected by amnesty. For its part, Mr. Sonko's party pastor for reported Thursday 26th death through the, vi the voice of its spokesperson El Malik Ndiaye reported the information site Dakalaktu. Amnesty says it has noted in videos it has analyzed the presence alongside the police of armed men and civilian crowd who violently attack demonstrators. The state must not allow the presence of individuals not identified as part of the security forces for law enforcement operations nor the use of force. These are clear violations of international law, said Saidi Gassama, executive director of Amnesty Senegal, in a statement. The organization denounces attacks on freedom of expression. The authorities suspended access to popular social networks and internet access via mobile phones for several days. Mr. Osimane Sonko is generally presented as not being able to appeal his sentence. The young woman who had filed a complaint against him for rape charges finally reclassified as corruption of a person under 23 appealed the verdict, said one of his lawyers. The, opposite, the positions of the lawyers diverge as the consequences of this appeal and the possibility of a new trial. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.